if you are not excited, it's time to get ramped up a bit. It, it may not happen if you're not excited. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, the final but, countdown yeah. is on. We are only two days away now from Super Bowl Sunday. And Ryan, the cool thing is, CBS, we get to be part of the action because we're the home to watch no it. No doubt about it. Fans are pouring into Las Vegas for the epic 49ers Chiefs rematch from four years ago. And to see the NFL's biggest stars honored, CBS's Jared Hill live in Sin City, as they call it this morning. Jared, how's the hype machine for Super Bowl 58, even by Vegas standards? <laughs> So l let me tell you, we have uh, had some visitors by a live shot location who are obviously very excited uh, for the Super Bowl. Uh, and that's the case really that we have been seeing all weekend long, but more so in the past couple of days as folks are looking to celebrate not only the game itself and their team, but football as a whole. We are the, the, the champions, baby. Fans are feeling lucky as Super Bowl fever takes over Las Vegas. Oh, you know it, here to see the special of the week going on. David Munoz, here from California, hopes his 49ers can win their first championship in a decade so he can deck out his jacket with another patch. I got room for one more. Where y'all from? Kansas City, Missouri. Missouri. Hey. Home of the Tisha and Julius Ward, like most of the nearly half a million people expected to fill Las Vegas this weekend, don't have tickets to the game, but they say that's not what matters. This is historical, right? Kansas City hadn't had a Super Bowl win for a number of years, and now we've just been on it back to back, so we just want to support our boys. Thursday night, the NFL honors. Football's version of the Oscars paid tribute to the game's biggest stars on and off the field. Baltimore Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson was named the Associated Press Most Valuable Player for the second time. And please welcome the Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year, Cam the Man Haywood. There's no act too small. There's no act too big. We are all trying to make a difference in so many people's lives. Back on the strip, this pair of Falcons fans from Atlanta just here for a good time. We're here to support the Super Bowl, the 49ers and the Chiefs. We just love football. As more fans continue to pour in, the Neon City keeps showing out. It is on fire. I can say Vegas is on fire. There you go. Vegas is on fire. Uh, the TSA is estimating the, that about 350,000 people will travel in and out of the airport here in Vegas between today and Sunday. So this is about to get even bigger as the weekend goes on. Oh, That's yeah. You. Can only imagine, Jared. I was hoping the, the Bellagio fountains were going to start behind <laughs> you. But I do want to mention that something that we've been talking about in the newsroom here is we noticed you upgraded from a little jacket to now a Canada goose coat. Uh, so is it really that cold in Vegas right now? What are we expecting there? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, w when I got this assignment, I was like, great, Vegas, fun, <laughs> escape the East Coast winter. No, it's 39 degrees here, and we're standing outside for like four hours at a time. <laughs> so, uh, I had to I had to layer up. Yeah, I feel you, brother. And it's also 3.30 in the morning out there, so right. in the desert. A little desert early. Chills, right. a, little, a little cold. All right, I'm glad you're suited and ready now right. for the weather. Jared, thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs> And, of course, CBS2 is your official home for Super Bowl Sunday with several hours of live coverage from Las Vegas. Kickoff between the Chiefs and 49ers is at 530. And the halftime show. I'm oh, excited yeah. for Usher. Usher, I'm Usher like, as they say. Usher. That. He calls himself Usher. <laughs> right. Might have a few special guests, too. Oh, oh I'm fun. sure.